This week in Ken's Tech Lab, we're going to be printing out one of the components kit, the wireless mouse. This is number 002 from Bamboo Lab. Stay tuned. Welcome back everybody. Uh, this week we're going to be printing the wireless mouse set from Bamboo Lab. And uh, I have not even looked inside this box yet to see what comes with it. Alright, here's the package that is inside of it. And that is actually another bag that has other components. So let's see what we have. We have a complete little mouse um, main board. This also has the, um, looks like the little IR sensors in it and stuff like that. Um, inside this bag is also the wireless uh, that you plug into your laptop, the little uh, dongle. Uh, this looks like for the laser, uh, this looks like this actually goes on the bottom of the mouse and the other side of the plastic where the laser comes through. Scroll wheel. And we have uh, four pads. Uh, one that goes to each corner of the mouse. Um, to help it slide on the uh, on your mouse pad. Uh, looks like this is the battery connector and all your screws. These kits from Bamboo um, on one of my other videos I did the marble machine and I believe that getting these kits and doing them with your um, with your kids at home will get them into the hobby and really teach them something uh, that they can use in the future. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is actually there's a barcode right on the side of there or the, one of the QR codes and if you open up your handy app and go to on the very top of the app I believe this is under me yeah because under models you have discover following devices and then me under me in the top right corner by the bell with your information you have a QR code reader that will open up the camera and from there you use a QR code right there and it brings up the picture of the model um, with this components kit and when you go through it, you can see all the different pictures of the model, uh, different color schemes that people have printed. Um, you can print this out any colors that you would like to have it. And on the bottom, when you go down, it says prepare to print. So select your printer's model. And right now I'm going to do this on the A1. Okay, so it also has what they call plates, and what plates do is let you um, print different parts of the model. So we have the wireless mouse bottom shell, uh, wireless mouse top shell, wireless mouse, uh, I think this is 1.0. Uh, wireless mouse left-handed. That's pretty nice. Um, so what we're going to do is go down here and uh, it says uh, print plates, one plate, detail, and it will show you all the parts that are going to be in that plate. Um, and 
and each one of these parts, and I believe, yeah, it just shows you a picture of what the parts are going to be. Once you get the parts out there, you're going to hit next. Before print, please place the build plate and confirm the plate type. Got it. So, I'm using the AMS on this, and this is multicolor, it's sitting over here. And I chose black uh, for the outer casing and a very, um, I believe that's an orange or red, a very dark red uh, for the inside. So it gives me a choice right here to um, use the AMS. You can select filament from the AMS or external spool. spool. I'm choosing the uh, AMS. I can go into the AMS and then choose black, which I want the PLA black. And preview the colors. Show bed. And it's going to be uh, the AMS colors. I have red and black loaded. And right now this one is going to be the black. All right. So if you wanted to, I believe, on this too, there's two parts to this. And I believe I go in here and show the bed. and do the bottom and top here is going to be black yeah there's the bottom of the mouse and they give you a 3d view of this which is really nice and uh and then you have your ams colors and i go confirm it customized successfully back down to a small and I can say start print and it sends the job automatically to the printer so what we're going to do is we're going to do a um, really quick video of the print of these of this plate and we'll be right back Welcome back everybody and uh, we did a few prints on the A1 so we did the you'll see this closer once we start putting this together but that's the top of the shell for the uh, for the mouse and this is like a protective uh, covering over the main board that goes inside and I printed this actually in three colors and two of them didn't come out very well so this one right here was printed on uh, pet G on the a1 but what I did was I told it to do um, take a picture between every um, every layer and it came out really bad really really bad so I printed it again, leaving the same uh, camera, and it, it printed just as bad on the corner here. So I decided, okay, well, let's try this over on the, on the, um, the uh, X1 Carbon. And the X1 Carbon, when I told it to do the same thing, uh, to take a, you know, a picture between every layer, uh, so I can get like a, a really quick build of it. Um, it said warning, this could have bad effect on the print. I didn't know that. So I didn't try reprinting it again on the A1 without that. Um, but maybe uh, I'll, I'll do that experiment later on. I wanted to get this out to you guys. And on the A1, without doing that extra picture, the... Uh, 
the, the, it came out absolutely fantastic. So what I'm gonna do is move the cameras around and we'll get putting this together. We'll be right back. Welcome back everybody. And uh, I have everything on the bench. And uh, I kind of miss doing things on the bench. Um, building printers and stuff. I think we're gonna have to get ourselves another project. So in the very beginning of this video, we unpacked uh, the little uh, box that was right there. And now that we have all the packages here, I'm also following along um, with the barcode that you get from here on the Handy app and they have instructions right there and like I said in the beginning this is a great project um, to do with the family um, getting it printed watching something this cool right this is a mouse um, come out and and have something that's functional when you're done uh, I think that's just amazing and I think that's what the, that's what this hobby is all about. So, with that, uh, it's a little bit closer. Bring it over on this camera right here. This is the failure that I had from the A1, uh, due to the fact I believe um, that I was trying to do those uh, the time lapse on there, and every time that the went away it cooled the model down too much to when it came back it didn't stick to the, to the layer I think that's it um, I'm not sure uh, because even this part right here and the, did the same thing and this is actually a Prusa um, Pet G um, Prusa Mint uh, the uh, Prusa Orange and that's what that is on the other hand, uh, everything else in black was printed with the um, Bamboo Lab um, PLA Black uh, Sparkle, the Sparkle Black. Love that color. Um, I think you know with the red inside and the black on the outside, this is going to be really cool. All right, let's get to it. So it just shows you all the pieces. Um, uh, set out uh, first thing is that they want us to make sure that I believe I've already done it on the back of this maybe I didn't do it on this one there is a piece that was looks like it was extra there's uh, just little pieces holding it on just break that off might have to get something to clean this up with uh, slide cutters do it I didn't know if I had them right next to me or maybe get yourself a little bit of sandpaper. Um, take off the knobs. Looks like the side cutters are doing the perfect job. But a little, a little sandpaper never, never helps. I mean, never hurts. <laughs> Always helps, never hurts. All right, I've already done it, but the inside of this uh, if you print it right to the printer, um, what it will do is have a tree uh, supports on here. And I pulled the tree supports out. I've already thrown them away. I want to make sure that everything looked okay before going further and everything was perfect on the inside and out of this print. All right. Next point, they want you to get the board out. And that comes in this uh, static free bag. If I can get to the inside, because I really don't want to cut it. There's the main board. And then inside that same bag is the receiver. 
This could be a little USB dongle. Okay. And what they want us to do is on this part right here, that should be the light right there. Okay. And then the piece of glass. That's going to fit in right here. Now let's make sure that we have it the right way. And I said to make sure that you remove the film from the sensor surface. Now I've never put one of these together before, so I'm just making sure that I get the right angles. Okay, that looks like it would go like that. So, that would go like that. On the back of the board, it's best to make sure that all these parts go in the right position. All right, I'll slid it over like that. And uh, there's a close up of it. And you can see where the wheel is going to go. Make sure everything looks okay. Okay, so now it wants us to insert the scroll wheel. Wow, nice and soft scroll wheel. Alright. So there's two ends to the scroll wheel. One is a small end that I think it's going to fit right into this board. So I believe the best thing that they want you to do is lift it up off of back off of that where you had it and then put it back down with it already stuck inside there you go and make sure that it's turning excellent all right that also gives you the let me get this up closer so that scroll wheel gets you also the, on the board, there's a little button that the scroll wheel hits when you press on it for your third mouse button. Really cool. All right. I put this together about two or three times and then you won't be looking at the instructions as much. Now they want you to get and put together the electronics part, the battery part, um, which I have to go find a battery for this. It does not come with a battery. Okay. So what they show is The red wire is longer. And it plugs in to the board. Only one way it can go. So it plugs into the board like that.
and the red will go up and slide in to I would say that's the back part of the mouse and then it popped right back out because the wire just pulled it right back out. Okay. So we'll get this to go in where it does not pop itself back out. Now remember, as of now, there is nothing, there's no screws in this at all. So there's nothing holding it in. There we go. Now, the back, the back one has the spring. That's actually going to the front of the mouse. So this one is going to go in the front. And you're going to actually unwind it a little bit where the flat part's going to go down. There we go. Alright. So, first part of the mouse is we put the red wire up front and the black wire in the back. Or vice versa. This is the back of the mouse. This is the front. Now I want you to route the wire, the red wire. There's a little um, place on the top that you can run the wire through and it kind of goes inside this little holder. Nice and, uh, nice and neat like. Have you ever felt like you might have forgot one little piece that should have went on there? Just for the heck of it. Flip this over. Yeah, okay. So what I forgot to do is there's a little piece here. It's a little piece of plastic that comes in the kit. And so you can get to the on-off switch that goes on the bottom of the mouse. That's what the other hole was supposed to be for, and I missed it. So what we're going to do is gently take the board back out. It's a good thing that nothing gets um, put on it yet. And just gently pull it over. it where it's in the down position. Then we're going to put the board right back on. And the only thing we we'll want to do is just re-put re the wire back in again. Okay. And so the only thing we need to do is just re-put the red wire back in that little little tram spot. Another good thing that would probably go good here, and I just don't have any with me, is a little piece of tape to hold that down over that spot would probably be really helpful here. So now on the bottom of it, I, can't, I know you can't see it because it's black, but there's a switch now right there. Okay. Alright, now the electronics cover is the red part that I printed. And the reason why I made it red is because I wanted an internal color to be different so it looked cool. So, it's time to put that. Again, we have not put any screws in this yet. And there 
we go. That's it. All right. So we just kind of like put it over top of everything else. Just set it on there. Again, no screws yet. Now there are three screws that need to go in here. And we're gonna go into our bag. And I believe they're all the same size. They are. And I don't know if I grabbed a small enough Allen key for this, and I don't think I did. I'm close. Let me go get another one. All right. I went and found a key. It took me a couple minutes for you guys to be a couple seconds because I'll just skip over that. But it looks like it was in the same kind of set with my other screw, my other ones. Like that. So it's real small. And what they want is on the back and make sure that you don't tighten these too tight because they are just going through plastic um, they'll be really easy to strip off all right so now you have two screws in the front and one screw in the back. On the bottom, you have a switch and you also have the uh, little diode for the laser. All right. On the bottom, the board has the two little, this is the top actually, two blue, and that's gonna be for your left and right mouse buttons. The middle scroll wheel Feels really, really good. And then you hear has a click. Alright. Let's see what's next. So it's time to put it all together and we need to take the main piece top cover and what we're going to do is underneath there is a little ledge this has a little push out of red so what we're going to do is stick it underneath there and then snap it in after you snap it in because the front's being held by those the front ledge right there so you don't have to worry about it the only thing you have to worry about is the rear two screws okay so now we're going to hold it in our hand or try to Maybe put it on the table. That's one. Looks like they do give you one extra screw. So if you lose it, that's a good thing. So now the mouse is together, as you can see the red comes through like I wanted it to. And you can do this with other colors, a nice purple and black looks good together. 
Um, you could also print many colors and just take it apart and change it however you feel that week and just change the way it looks. We have a, 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 a mouse button up here. We have the roller and a button. You're in your two mouse buttons here. All right. After you do that, I want you to put on the um, the felt feet. Helps it uh, glide. So on the bottom, there are three places that um, there's a little not a cutout, but just a little indent of where they go. So they come on this tape. Um, there's four of them. You only need three. So they do give you an extra one of these. And just peel them off. And put them in the section. And kind of get it. So what I would do is get it off your finger, but don't press down, or you can just move it around. On the plastic. And press in. Once it's in the desired spot. Okay, one more. Feeder on. So that's over there, there, and one in the back. Now it moves around like a regular mouse. Good hand. Has a side cut out for your thumb. Uh, in the prints, they do have one for a left handed, and you just have to, that's just the top cover that has to be changed um, so it's more comfortable. All right, your extra parts are going to be um, one screw and one pad for the bottom. I would just put those back into one of the one of the bags and seal it. Um, you also have the cover, the battery cover, and this takes one AA battery and then you just have the cover that goes in and has a snap to it. Just like that. All right. Well, it's all together. The uh, mouse matches the box. It was a fun little build, and uh, let me uh, go clean this off a little bit and get my laptop, and we'll see if it, it's a working mouse. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. So I went and got my laptop, which you're gonna see on the other screen. Um, it's hard for me to get a camera into the right position um, but I do have one so here's the mouse that we were working on and I did find a battery and then we do have the connection little USB dongle I have a MacBook Pro so I have to it does not have a normal USB connection on it so I have to use a uh, uh, one of those um, external connectors that give me USB and other things. So what we're going to do is take the battery um, cover back off. They give you a little section to hold on to to open it, but you have to press it in at the same time that you open it. Good cover. All right. So the battery cover is off. Let's stick a battery in it. Fits in really good. A little 
so let's put the cover back on it. Clicks in nicely. And let's see if the switch works. And there's the switch. Lights up the, the bottom. Excellent. So, so far so good. And uh, the next step is to plug in the little USB dongle. And we have a mouse. Um, yeah, we, we have a working mouse that I put together. And like I said, this is great for families. Um, having something that works when you're done with a little project like this is great for somebody that doesn't understand 3D printing electronics and uh, how to put things together. It does a full gambit of, of things, a great project, and uh, I hope this was helpful. I hope everybody uh, joins in and grabs one of these. And um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below, and I try to answer every single question that comes through. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and like always at Ken's Tech Lab, stay awesome. See you next time.